word. You already know who it is. Deprived Productions and Josh here. And I got another ball because we like playing with balls. And in this 14th material tutorial video with the Unreal Engine 4, we're going to talk about the depth fade node. It's going to be really, really quick and really, really simple, but I want you to understand what you can do with this. So F11 to get out real quick. Right click already in the DP folder. Create a material and I'm going to name it depth. Problem solved. I'll right, or drag it onto my ball, double click on it, and it's already got a second window because this thing knows how we do. You know what I mean? We're in here. Go ahead and change opaque to translucent. Go ahead and change default lit to unlit, and then we can save it. So step by step, because there's literally just a few steps, and we'll show you exactly what's happening here. So we got our black ball, right? It's all black and ready to go. We're going to right click, okay? Need that depth fade node because that's what we're talking about. Make sure you spell it right or at least close. Depth fade, there it is. You're like, okay, well, well, what's it do? Well, I want you to plug it into opacity, okay? And save, and that's it. Let's go back and see if anything changed. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, it didn't. Nothing. Now, there's a couple things about it. The falloff distance is how far it will stretch into the real world. And the opacity is obviously if it's going to be black or black or not black. So if I hold the number one and click and drag it into opacity at zero, it's translucent. Well, we need to be able to see it. I want to see it. So let's set it to one for now. Got the opacity. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set this fall off distance to a huge number. So hold number one, drag it in, and then let's set it to 13,000. A big old number. So it's going out 13,000 centimeters or millimeters or some sort of meters out into the real world in the distance. It's a fall off kind of distance. You can see through it. So check it out. Now, if we go in here and look through the ball, look what's going on there. It's seeing a little bit of the world. But after the world, it, it, it'll look as far as that fallout distance will, and then everything else is black. So it's fading into that. Now, you're like, it'd be sweet if we could just go inside of it. Oh, it messes up, but why? I'll show you. Go back here and click on, click on, your, click on your thing here. Go down to two-sided. Click on that bad baby and save it. And now what's kind of cool is we can go inside. We can go inside of the ball, and then we're in here. Oh, and you can see the fall off distance kind of working there, and it may be too much, and my, 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 my world here looks retarded. But I mean, besides that, you see what's going on. It's kind of, it's kind of, kind of falling off. You know what I'm saying? A little depth fade action. My, my, my number here, I go to about 22,000. And that's just me. And of course, I would obviously play with this a lot more. So now if you save it and go back, the fall off distance will be a little further. It'll go a little further into the field. See? It's a little further out there now, okay? So you can kind of adjust that and kind of play with it. Kind of like that a little bit. Here's what I like to do. This is kind of a really neat look, and I want to show you a couple things here. Drag this as well and plug it into a missive collar. That's it. So now it's white. So you can imagine what's going to happen, right? Instead of it being black, it's going to be white. So boom, we got this ball that you can kind of see the world, but it's all foggy. It's kind of foggy, so if I get in here with it, look at that. Like a foggy world, huh? You got like the, the sun coming up or something, and you just want a real quick, simple bloom that looks real real pretty and real white. You can affect the color of it and, 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 and work with it. You know, send this in blueprints, you know, whatever or not. One more cool thing, I'll unplug opacity. It's still white, right? But it's not picking up the map. It's not picking up the alpha or anything. So now if you're inside, look at that. Wow! It's black and white. It's barely just picking up the, it's like picking up just the shape of the world. Oh, look at my ball, all, all kind of weird looking. But besides that, it's just picking up the shape of the world, so like that. And you could adjust that fall off distance a little bit more, you know what I mean? Maybe change this to 30,000. Big old freaking number. All kind of big numbers, because you can't be scared of big numbers. I like little numbers too, but whatever. And look at it now, look at that. You got the world. Let's see what it looks like. Uh-huh. And if we back into this ball, whoosh. Oh, boom, like the transition there. Yeah, beautiful. Love that look, man. But personally, uh, 30,000 is fine, but I like to plug it back into opacity again. Like I like to be able to see the world a little bit. I like this, I like this bloom look though, like going in and out, boom, boom. I mean, I just, that is a sweet, sweet, Little trick, guys. Uh, appreciate you watching. Real quick tutorial there with the depth fade node. Hope that taught you a little, little trick or two. Just real neat. Just want to jump in and show you all this real quick before we go on with more tutorials. But thanks for watching, guys. To Pride Productions, Josh, you're loving you, missing you. Hit the subscribe button and check out those other tutorials. There's tons. Go like that Facebook page, too, guys. We got a new track releasing next week. Can't wait to show it to you guys. An, an oldie but a goodie is what I like to call it. But don't worry about that. I'll explain more later. But, guys, appreciate you watching. Love you, miss you. Um, use this. Have some fun with it. I'll be back in a couple days with another tutorial and some more cool stuff. Until then, peace.